Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to backup and restore a virtual machine in VMware ESXi to a new host. This process applies to server operating systems. Just make sure you turn off the VM before you backup. You can use this same process to clone one VM from one host to another, but the process can take a long time. If you notice here, my host IP ends in .50, and I'll be using a squid proxy server for my video tutorial. All I need to do is select the host, configuration, storage, right click the data store, browse data store, and here select the folder containing the virtual machine, in this case squid proxy server. Now click on the download a file from this data store icon. Now browse and select the location to save that VM. Make sure that the location have enough space for that virtual machine or any virtual machine you're backing up. In this case, I'll select a network hard drive. Here it's telling you that in case you have a file with the same name, it'll be overwritten with this information. This process can take a long time. Once done, you have successfully backed up your virtual machine. In case something happens to your host, you can easily re-upload it to a new host. If you notice, by going into the saved location, it contains the exact same files. Say I need to restore this VM to the same host or a new host. In this case, I'm using a new host Notice this IP address ends in .51. All I need to do is, again, go to Configuration, Storage, right-click Data Store, Browse Data Store. Now select the root folder, not the subfolders, because you don't want to install the operating system on a subfolder, and click on the Upload Folder icon. Here, locate the folder from the backup you created. It's really simple. Once selected, click on OK. And again, it'll tell you that if that data store contains a folder with the same name, it'll be overwritten. And again, this process can take a long time. But once done, all we need to do is just add it to our inventory. So select the uh, VM folder, locate the VMX file, right click and add to inventory. When I add to inventory, it'll show up under my host. Now select the name. If you want to keep the same name, you can do so. If not, you can change it. I'll keep it in the same host. And finish. Done. There it is. Now power the VM on. It'll probably come up with, with a little pop-up before it boots up asking you if you're copied or moved it. In this case, I'll select I moved it from one host to another. OK. And it should power on fine. Now, remember to go to the settings. Make sure if you need to add or remove RAM or add or remove NICs, you can do so. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Want to watch how to clone a guest operating system in Oracle VirtualBox? Click on the thumbnail on the screen. If you want to be up to date with future video tutorials, click on subscribe. Thank you for watching.